Hi, this is Dr. Charles Kuntz, and I'm a surgeon at Southpaws. Uh, I'm going to discuss uh, bandagement, bandage placement in uh, a dog. The first thing we do is put stirrups on the end of the foot uh, to assure that the bandage doesn't ride up uh, or slide down uh, off the leg. Now these stirrups are made of just um, adhesive tape like leucoplast or uh, or something like that. We put a non-adherent bandage over the open area of the wound and uh, any one of the non-adherent bandages will work. Um, I prefer a dry non-adherent bandage like a Telfa pad or melalin or something like that. Now the next layer is to place uh, cast padding uh, over the leg and the most important thing here is to put uh, lots of cast padding uh, and uh, putting lots, lots of cast padding is what keeps the bandage from bunching up and sliding down off the leg. Um, now you can use a standard cast padding product or you can use roll cotton or something like that. Um, and again the key is to put um, a lot of cast padding on there, that's what's going to keep the bandage uh, staying up. Now the next layer is a, a cling layer and this is um, an elastic uh, type of bandage and you have to be a bit careful with this because if this is on uh, too tightly you can create a tourniquet effect and so we just kind of lay that on with a little bit of tension on it but not with a lot of tension uh, placed. To let it go But if you never try you'll never know just watch you will. The next step is to fold the stirrups back out and stick them onto the cling. And again, that's what anchors the bandage to the leg and keeps it from sliding off. Uh, again, a very, very important step. Now, following the placement of the stirrups, uh, we use an elastic bandage, something like a, a vet wrap or coflex or something like that. And again, this can be placed too tightly, so it's important to pull it just tight enough so that the wrinkles in the product are just a, um, about to disappear, but not so that they've complete, uh, completely disappeared. So uh, again, very important. Now we usually these change these bandages about every three to six days, depending on how much granulation tissue is present on the wound. Um, also, if the bandage gets wet or starts sliding down, it's very important uh, to remove it and change it at that time uh, because you can certainly have some serious uh, complications associated with a bandage that's wet or too tight. Now we have owners check the toes uh, twice a day to make sure that there isn't any swelling and the rule of thumb is that the toenails should be able to touch uh, uh, or there's evidence.